Good morning, putas. Oh, if you watched the last vlog, you know that I picked that up. I don't have any decorations for it yet. So I just put this like one little candle up there. It's kind of lame. I don't know if that's where it's gonna stay, but I also moved the photo that was right there to right there. And that also looking kind of lonely. But anyway, what's up if you're new here? What's up if you've been here before? What is motherfucking good? Um, the last vlog I posted was from last week. So new week, new vlog. I'm headed to San Diego on Thursday, but there's a lot of stuff that's happening before then. So come along. Hopefully this vlog won't be as long as that last one because girl, that last one was like an hour. I'm like, relax. Anyway, so right now I've just been working this whole morning, been grinding. Um, it's 11.20 and I wasn't going to go into the office today, but it's one of my coworkers' birthdays tomorrow. And so we're doing a lunch for him today. So I'm going to get ready right now. I have an hour until I have to be at the restaurant and um, I look like this. So we're going to go do that really quick. So we are, I got ready super, super quick. Um, I'm actually going to get there early. I'm a little ahead of schedule. Me? No, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go celebrate his birthday. We're going to this Korean spot, but it's almost like Korean fusion. Like they have sushi and Korean barbecue, but also just like such a variety of stuff, which is really exciting. Um, one thing about me is I'm gonna splurge on Asian food, period. Like that is the food that i don't mind spending like a pretty penny on not that this place is expensive or anything but just in general even just eating out like thai food burmese food vietnamese food indian food korean food japanese food chinese food like i'm i'll spend a bag I, or like i'll choose to eat out those cuisines out more than any other cuisine um yeah i don't know why but everybody has their preferences, you feel me? Um, let's get this show on the road. I'll try to get a clip of the food, what I end up ordering. I'm trying to decide what I'm in the mood for. Cause I could always go for some sushi, but they also have like rice cakes and shit on the menu. And like, I'm kind of a horror for some rice cakes. There's like a little bit of everything in here. All right, did y'all see that bento box, bro? <laughs> that was the biggest bento box I have ever had in my entire life. Holy cow. I went to the gym. Um, so after we got lunch, I did some work and then I went to the gym. <laughs> and I got ready because I'm going to go bowling with a friend tonight, which should be exciting. Kind of a new friend. Kind of nervous. But at the same time, like chill vibes. You guys, tomorrow is literally Wednesday and i leave on thursday and i'm pretty sure i leave like in the morning or like early afternoon i have to double check oh my god my flight is literally at 12 25 on thursday which means i'm literally gonna need to get to the airport at like 11 35 which means i need to definitely like pack the day before so that i can like work a half day at least before i leave because also once i land in san diego i have like appointments to get to <laughs> wait hi so <sighs> bitch <sighs> bowling is gonna be starting a little later than anticipated i thought i was gonna go like right when i got home from the gym but um turns out we're not going till like eight it's 7 45 right now um, that being said, I am getting tired because I just had it in my head that it was going to be an earlier night. Normally when I have it in my head that like I'm going to be up, I can kind of rally. The brain is not prepared to rally right now. And then I remembered, I don't know, I think it's from one of the conferences or the conference that we had here in Vegas for my company. So the monster left over in my, or not a monster, a rain in orange dreamsicle in my fridge for the longest time i think i'm gonna try it because i need the energy right now it's supposed to be i guess an energy drink for like the gym like a little celsius moment but has aminos and 
coenzyme 10, Q10, and electrolytes, and I don't know, vitamins B3, B6, B12, potassium, but also 300 milligrams of caffeine. So cheers. <laughs> Whoa. Bitch. <laughs> That actually tastes fire. My phone because my memory card's out of storage right now. So damn, I'm looking kind of buff. Oh, there's a tattoo update, by the way. This is so funny right now. Literally, look at the. Oh, don't look at my notifications though. Oh my god, I look kind of crazy. Hey, hi. <laughs> um. So this is what I did with the hair. I was like gonna do a bun, and then I just did an incomplete bun and left that little tuff out. And I feel like it's cute. First test run. Keeping a safe distance away. Hello. Last time I put you guys up here, I was getting ready to go bowling. And I didn't get any clips of it because we literally played two games and it was like so fast that I forgot. I was sucking ass. I'm normally not that bad at bowling. It was fun though. It was fun. It was a good time. I forgot how fun bowling is. Don't mind my pajama look right now. <laughs> I PR'd in um on my leg press today though. I did five plates plus 25s on each side. I don't know how many motherfucking pounds that is, but each plate is 45. So I did 10 45 pounds. That's like 450. And then plus 25 on each side. So that's 500. Plus the weight of the leg press machine. Which I don't know how much that is. But at least 500. Which is crazy. So y'all see me. <laughs> y'all know the motherfucking vibes. <laughs> I told y'all I was going to go hard in the gym this week. I told y'all I was going to work hard this week. And baby, I've been doing both. So we really out here. Um, all that being said, you like my Snoopy shirt? <laughs> all that being said, I'm leaving for San Diego tomorrow. I washed my hair too. Can you tell? She's like, she's clean or whatever. My face. I can't wait to get LASIK, bro. Like, glasses are just not the vibe. Look how fucking... Anyway. So, I'm headed to SD tomorrow. I have a work meeting in the morning. And then I'm going to be leaving, like, right after that work meeting. So, I'm thinking, like, I need to pack my suitcase tonight. I'm only going to be in San Diego for Thursday, which is tomorrow. Friday saturday and sunday i fly back sunday night so i just gotta pack like three fits and then you know what i'm gonna wear tomorrow um i need to check the weather before i start packing but i think i'm even though it's only three outfits i'm still gonna bring a suitcase because i gotta bring my shit for work so that's gonna take up space i can't believe how my hair is like so soft and like like uh, healthy right now I'm getting a haircut tomorrow though, so like, oh, of course, right before I get a haircut, I feel like it's like on its healthy shit, but the ends don't even look that bad. I mean, you could always trim the ends though. She's long. Look at her. Like, girl. Stop playing with me. Look at those inches. I know you see him. <laughs> <laughs>
I could also use to get my bangs like well done because you know I'd be trimming them by myself to fill in the gaps between like professional appointments and at some point it's just like you need like a reset hit hit a reset with the bangs and get them like professionally done so that'll be good wow some of my my neighbors about to bust through the roof um anyway I'm gonna pack right i am on my way out my friend angel's actually able to give me a ride so that's really cool shout out angel i appreciate her so much oh shit made it new book i thought we were shaking we it's made it bacon. <laughs> You're not, you can't see it. Oh my bad. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like the back of her. There's right. bacon in this salad? Bacon, chicken, lettuce, tomato, oh. pepperoncini, no onion chip, no the dentist. I was being nice. So the dentist. I low key need to borrow some floss. I ran out last night. Napkin is so cute. Uh. It's like concrete. So you gotta dig the dirt. to my dentist appointment. You need to know while we're in town, we gotta get all that shit done. Appointment all done. I got my little goodie bag. They put fluoride on my teeth, so I can't eat or drink for four hours, but I had that salad, so I'm big chilling. It feels like kind of sticky, you know? I felt so complimented though. She's like, do you whiten your teeth? And honestly, I don't really whiten them. Like there's been times where I've whitened them, before but i'm not like a regular whitener like i want to say it's been months like probably like four or five months since i whitened my teeth he's like yeah no your teeth are very white like naturally it seems and i'm like oh well thank you i actually have a hair appointment now at 4 30 it's 402 i'm gonna pick up my mom because she wants to go to seafood city and that's close to where i get my hair cut so I have like the fluoride on my lips <laughs> but i just wanted to say this was like the first time that i've ever like when i think about it i do think that like you know going to the dentist is a privilege but this was the first time that like during my dentist appointment as i'm sitting in the chair i was thinking about how lucky i was to be getting my teeth clean like to have somebody working on my teeth it felt like instead of a chore it was like self-care which if you would ask me to really think about it i would have told you like yeah it's self-care but this is the first time that i'm sitting while the appointment's happening i'm like wow how lucky am i that like somebody is working on my teeth right now while it was happening i was comparing it to like getting your nails done getting your hair done which those are more pleasurable not because they feel better like maybe a massage feels better but like your nails aren't always they don't always feel good to get your nails done mentally you're more excited about it because you come out prettier right but like even though when they're working on your teeth you're not necessarily coming out prettier it's like you're coming out cleaner like you should feel better about yourself because it's it's a treat really not everybody gets to have their teeth worked on and cleaned so i was just feeling particularly grateful to be at the dentist like what is this what being an adult is like i mean like i wasn't excited to go but i was happy about it anyway now on to a hair appointment which is about aesthetics so he i mean it's also about keeping my hair healthy but you know a little different, a little less necessary than the teeth. Time to see my girl Jessica for a little trim. So I really $310,000. And I haven't worked yet. She's like, hair is cut, it's fresh. This fuzzy plant. Look at the, all the plants. Mama's in growing. Apparently she's going to give me one of these um, shelves to take home to build, which is super exciting. But wow, she literally got all of these for free from neighbors and just like has propagated all of them. So impressive. Look at these thick ass cacti. Like, wow. Slay. What is that? Oh, 
tomatoes. Tomatoes. The cacti hanging. That's Oliver, but like Oliver has like kids and grandkids now. Oh, and like the little nubs are, are like pets. He's crazy, he's long as fuck. Damn, bro. That was like, that started as just like the equivalent of that little nug right there by itself in John's oh, yeah, dorm room. Right. This one is crazy. I just sent a ma a snap from like three years ago of this one. I got that one at Sprouts and this one at Sprouts and they were like tiny and now they're huge. They've just been living here, thriving here. <laughs> lucky, <laughs> lucky that I didn't catch that shit on camera. <laughs> this is the what? Of, oh. The plant stand. Worst case, see, worst case scenario, I can maybe throw it my suitcase in May. No, this will, uh, I might not be able to take the box, but I could take all the contents inside. I'm so excited. Maybe put it in, um, yeah. you know those grocery bags? What's that one you have that Aunt Patty gave you the quilt for you? Once a Girl Scout, now growing her own flowers. <laughs> Wow, that homegrown though, for real. Let's go. Look at the grow, the mini grow. <laughs> this is my broom. <laughs> and this, dun dun. <laughs> these are different seeds than this one. This, these are like the good seeds. Um, and you can tell the difference in plant uh, thickness, density. Look at her. So the flower that I just showed you are from these plants. This one has yet to produce flower. But when it does, it's probably going to be crazy. <laughs> Cheers to our first, but definitely not the last glass of wine this trip. Cheers. Mm, so refreshing. A little butterfly. Next to this mini joint that John rolled me. It's like my portion. <laughs> Can I hear yes. <laughs> Give me that hoe. I can't believe there's like six of them again. Or should I open? The wine glass. Look at that sunset. I know. Um, I'm saying you don't really buy the mac and cheese. I didn't know that. Gives me a little more. Good morning, bitches and hoes. Just kidding. Good morning. Um, my mom and I are headed on a four on a run for a run it is such a beautiful sunny day out I'm so excited because when i was packing i saw that it was gonna be like high 60s but i forget that like san diego high 60s feels like 70s because of the humidity so and then we're gonna come back and shower drop john off downtown um he's linking with a friend downtown and we're taking the car since him and I don't have cars down here. And then we're headed to Ramona for wine tasting. We have our tasting. Here it is. Comes in these cute little um, little holders. And then we got to pick six from the menu. So those are her six and then these are my six. I'm so excited. These two are sangria for me. Um, and the rest are listed there. But hey, we're outside. Wow, the lighting is so good. These are our views. Beautiful views. Nice wine selection. Only problem is that it's literally like the country. There's like no Ubers. And we need to find somewhere to eat. <laughs> So we ended up at a Thai.
Thai place. You see the fire? Mm, looks so good. Whoa, the flames. Soup is boiling. Be careful with that flame. Oh my god. Okay, now we have this is um like drunken mandibles, but I added eggplant and with chicken. And then that is Thai basil, sun and rice. This soup was like the best tom yum soup we've ever had. So good. <laughs> When we're coming out of the grocery store. Yeah, and we're walking in the hotel. So we just stopped at the grocery store, picked up two bottles of wine and some <laughs> dessert. Well, I was rocking her fluffy ass jacket right now. <laughs> These country men really cannot because we are do not fit in here. <laughs> we're headed into the Dollar Tree right now to get little wine glasses because we realized like we don't have any wine glasses. These are 199 kind of a good deal. I'm going to grab one. These are good post-workout moments. Sparkling orange. Anyway, grab the Celsius. $1.99. I actually have never bought one of these, so I don't know how much they typically are, but that felt cheap. What are we looking for? I'm so <laughs> distracted. <laughs> Why were we silent for like 30 seconds? <laughs> How cute are these, mom? Yes, those are cute. Those are so cute. Like disco ball moments? Yeah, they have more right there. Oh, those are cute. These are cute, right? What kind do we want? Since we only need two, we can get whatever. I like these. Pink. I like the pink too. Let's get these. I'm down. Oh wait, these are really cute too. The sparkle I ones? Oh, those are like champagne. Oh, those are the champagne. Let's get these. A buck forty nine. I was just in these pots are ridiculously cheap right now. Two forty nine. Look how cool this one is. Oh, are you serious? Oh my god, even this one is cute. One ninety nine. Um, I might walk out. My parents are all really big. Yeah, but those big ones down there. Mom, this. feel this. This has some weight to it. Yeah, and but it's I like. I need something like this. Some big boys. How much are those? Two ninety nine. All right, I'm, I'm planter shopping. I'm for sure getting some. Okay, the sunset is literally happening right now, but we are dashing to pour wine and find, catch the last bit of light at least. Oh no. Oh, we have to go find a bottle opener for this one. I guess I'll just pour us white for now. Oh my God. Oh my God. This twist top, seriously, no joke. Yeah, we need to find a bottle opener for mine. I'm just gonna pour me a little bit of this one. Are you saying we missed the sunset? I think it literally is happening right now. Go. Let's okay, go. we have to take, we have to take a bag for this. Your Why? backpack? Why? The wine bottle fit in there? Oh, why are you taking that? Well, we have to find a bottle opener for my wine bottle. Oh, right. And then also to refill yours. <laughs> and your camera? Uh, you can leave my camera. I've just been vlogging. Oh, phone. wait, it's taping us. <laughs> <laughs> it's capturing the mayhem. Okay, and it's got else? Water? Yes. You're taking it? Got okay. it. Okay, wine glasses. Are you get a camera? No. No, I'm just going to vlog on my phone. Okay, let's go. So I've already been doing that. Cheers for sip. Chugging water. Mm. I need my sunglasses. My my back. You have a key? Mm -mm. Mm. I never had the key. Do you have the car key? Oh my god, we never locked the car. Lock the car. <laughs> okay, look, car's locked. Look. Lame. Look at our cups compared to those. Look, that's how the car's locked. <laughs> no way you're swinging on me like that right now. Oh my. I wish you would have got the red blend on the video. The red blend was savage. Catch a better view of the sunset up here. How is it? <laughs> Literally in the parking lot. Oh my God. A moment. 
I know, so we're just walking the golf course right now and there's like this water right here. Camera's like having a hard time coping with the darkness. Cute. Oh, hell no. Are those chihuahuas? You mean coyotes? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I meant coyotes. Oh. Are you afraid of chihuahuas? <laughs> I mean, they kind of sound like Bunny when she's, like, yapping. No. But they're, like, crazy, huh? Listen. Bird up, bird up. Must it all fall out. No, that's definitely coyotes, and they definitely got a hold of a cat or something. Yeah, right. Good thing we didn't go on that hike through the mountains. <laughs> Busted out the dessert, the little brownies. At the... How was it? Mm. <laughs> These are always so good. I think the ones in Davis were bigger. Mm. Mom. I've not fixed my hair yet, but good morning. We are still in Ramona. She finished her bottle of wine last night. Um, and then we watched a movie. What was that movie called? My Cousin Vinny. My Cousin Vinny. So funny. We ate li the little brownie bites in bed. <laughs> um, and now it's the next day. My face is like literally swollen right now. But we're walking into Dunkin' Donuts. Found a Dunkin' Donuts here. Absolutely critical to get some coffee. <laughs> and then we're going to go back to our hotel and read. I look so tired right now, but I'm gonna try this donut. I want a big bite of cream. Where's the hole? <gasps> it's on this side. You gotta look for the little hole where they pump the cream in. Okay, we're back in National City, headed to 85. Hey, Cody. of Seafood City. Mm, the glories. Oh! Uh, these are the ones. This man's the, is alive. These are the East Coast ones. Oh my god, it's kind of sad watching them all just struggle here. Let me grab I'm gonna grab this whole cluster, yeah? Just as long as they look good. Oh, it's good, right? <laughs> How many am I grabbing? I don't know. How many do you want to eat? Don't fuck up some crap legs. I don't know. Uh, this guy looks good. As long as they look meaty, I think. Yeah, right? Uh, did our work at Seafood City. Headed back to the car. What are we doing after this? We're going home. Now we don't have to go back out. I'm happy about that. Yeah. So we were debating between those crabs that I showed, but in the end, you saw us picking out the crab legs. We were a little hesitant because they're pre-cooked, but there was a girl in front of us who was like, no, they're bussin'. Like, <laughs> just re-steam them, and they're hella good. And I don't know, I trusted her judgment based on the quantity she was getting. <laughs> and she was like... Taking them to a friend's house. Yeah, and she was saying that normally they're, what, $27 a pound? They were $18 a pound. So, pretty lit. Um, we're having uh, seafood linguine and then crab legs on the side. All right, so 
we after doing our errands we came home i ate one of those milk buns from the 85 bakery <laughs> and then we went for a run so and then i came home and showered that's why my hair is all wet right now but uh we're gonna get to chefing but first i'm gonna make sangria okay i there is like a recipe that i like to do but some of the fruit isn't in season yet like white peaches i love doing that in sangria and I couldn't find white peaches, so we're using some canned fruits, and I might use some oranges from the orange tree. So, yeah, let's get into it. I have the strawberries here, soaking in sugar, and I have my camera camera set up right there. So get ready, three. We're gonna pop over there in three, two, one. And we're on the camera. Okay, so did a little adventure outside to collect some oranges. It was kind of a struggle because there were lots of spider webs. And one thing about me, I do not enjoy a spider web. <laughs> but we came up with four oranges. So I have them in front of me. I'm gonna cut them. And then I think those will be the first things in this jar. This is actually a vase because my mom doesn't have a clear pitcher. So we're just gonna ladle it out of this vase. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of these yellow peaches in here. There they are. I'm gonna strain some of this juice out. Ready to so out. We're cutting the peaches. The hands are clean. Do not fret. Strawberries, which are cut up and just sitting with a little bit of sugar. And then underneath, also sitting in sugar, are raspberries. Next, for the wine, the last time I did this, it worked really good with just taking like a red blend. You don't want anything too dry, but you don't want anything too sweet since you're already adding so much shit that's sweet. So we just picked up this Sutter, this gigantic Sutter Home red blend. I feel like, like I said, the red blends just really do it. So they really grip. They got that grip. <laughs> Damn. Did it work? No. They get wet. You want me to check? My hands are not wet. It's literally a silicone thing. Oh, I got it. Just needed a little, a little wrist action. You feel me? Just don't answer that. <laughs> Pour it up, pour it up, wash it off a little. Oh, ideally we're gonna put the sangria in the fridge. Oh, in the garage fridge. Oh, in the garage fridge, okay. Plenty of room, yeah, yeah. So we have some generic 99 cents club soda. Absolutely need that, the cheaper the better, really. I'm just gonna 
pour that on there. We're really just winging it nowadays. <laughs> I think I'm not gonna fill it all the way up, Mom. Should I? No. I feel like if not, the fruit might not, it might get like diluted, diluted, you feel me? And club soda. I'm gonna mix it around, give it a taste. It has to soak, obviously. Sizzling. Okay, girl. Talk your shit. <laughs> Sugar. And just, you know, for the girls and the gays. And that, my friends, is our sangria. She's gonna give her a good mix. Next step is to let it refrigerate. So I'm gonna um, put some saran wrap on the top of it and then take it outside to to our other fridge. Because we have two fridges, we are that family. <laughs> and then let it just sit in there for a while, let all the flavors marinate together, really get them acquainted with one another. <laughs> and then we're gonna sip on that hoe. I would like the vlog to know that you are never this quiet. It's only when I'm recording that she's quiet, but don't get it twisted. Mama likes to talk. Ah! <laughs> she's an animated queen. Okay. We did that. To the fridge it goes. Wait for the sangria. Let's try this Guinness Nitro Cold Brew Coffee. You know I love me some Guinness. Sorry. No, you're chilling. I like the chaos. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Why is this delicious? Oh my gosh. I feel like because Guinness already has that like coffee stouty f taste, the nitro cold brew in this is literally like, mm. and it has one of those little balls in it that keeps the keeps it foamy. You see the foam? You see it? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're here, chef. I am trying to thicken the sauce with a little tomato, tomato paste okay. because the seafood is going to add water to the natural juices to it. True. Make it water. So we're trying to make it thick. Make it thick. You like it thick around here? What can we say? Well, and I like, I like, yeah, I like the sauce thick, yes. We yes. like them thick. So we're going to have clams, <laughs> mussels, shrimp, and base scallops Ooh. in the sauce. Yeah. Uh, crab claws on the side. Mm. We're gonna do a little butter creole seasoning moment for yes. the crab legs and then the yes. seafood linguine on the side. Mm. Queen of the homemade sauce. Mm. You heard it here first.
stuff you give, you can't be They're just better, they're blacker. They just taste better. You don't need me, They don't need to be good. They taste When they're a little charred. When they're charred, you like that? You have some size. The sangria is present. She's been cooling. Where is she? Perfect. Damn it. Curses. You know if I like it with the orange, mom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Scoop it out. It's in soaking. Should I put ice in it? Yeah. Sure. Oh, should, should I put ice in it? No, I'm within frame like this. Oh, We're the ones that throw Oh. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is me? Too much pasta? What did you do like a little duck for? Sure. Oh, really? <laughs> May I have some more soup? <laughs> May I have Will some more soup? Can you eat seconds? Um, it depends how I'm feeling. The meal comes down to it. It's pretty. <laughs> uh, when I get down to eat, it's Oh my God. Yeah, I'm just gonna serve myself then, and I'll eat you guys taking it. Can't wait to eat these fresh fruits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna eat the fruit. Why do you say it like that? Because <laughs> well, that's one of the best parts. Dude, you got more fruit than liquid in that one. Bro, that's crazy. Hey, make mine the fullest ice one. Which one has the most ice? The fucking. Either that one or that one. I already tasted a few times, so... I had to make sure it was good. Well, she had to make sure it was good. Yeah. yeah. It looks so cute! Ah! Yum, the seafood linguine, the sangria, butter sauce that I made, with the lemon, the crab legs, the mushies, and then the meat. Mm. Yes. To a delicious feast. The first one was a little bitter, second taste got tastier. Got tastier? That makes the first. Mm -hmm. Definitely got mushed the fruit a little bit. To be honest, it's not bad. It's good. You mushed the fruit, you know, it's helpful. Okay, go me. I'm not bad. No, I'm not having it, I'm having this. <laughs> Here we go, it's another special treat from the 85 free market. I like it. Oh no, I can't get it open. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's a good one, Ah! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! We got Easter baskets from Mama! Happy Easter if you celebrate! Oh my god, shout out to my Aunt Patty for literally making this. How oh, freaking cute! Well, thank you so much. I'm so excited to eat the candies. Cadbury cream. That shit is bussin'. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Peeps. If you don't like heap, if you don't like heaps, if you don't like peeps, you have um, underdeveloped taste buds. I'm kidding. It's actually the opposite. <laughs> I know. This one has potato chips in it. 
Because he's a little best. <laughs> Have you ever seen Reese's with the Reese's Puffs inside? Like, what? Let me see. So much yum. Caramel cold brew M&M's. Like, literally what? So much exciting stuff. Also, shout out to Aunt Patty for the, for the gift card. Starbucks gift card. Gonna have to do a taste test on these. They're desserts of the world. Strawberry mochi churro. So exciting. Also, cookie dough bites. Some lottery tickets. Classic. <laughs> so I am packing right now so that um, I can chill the rest of the day. My flight is tonight. It's Sunday, by the way, at like 9 p.m. So I'm like, I just want to get my packing done so that we can go. We're supposed to go to the flower fields and we're going to make like brunch right now and drink mimosas. I'm going to check my bag on the way here. I didn't check it on the way back. I'm going to check it because literally look. It's just full of these wooden sticks. My mom is giving me a piece of furniture, like the one that I showed you outside in her front patio to build. Um, and so I'm literally, my bag is literally just like all of the pieces to build this damn thing. Like what? And this tote, I had this tote here. I took it to Mexico with me and then um, forgot it here in San Diego. It got washed, so it's hella wrinkled, but shout out to Char, my friend Char. She got this for me in France. And I don't know if I showed you guys, but I got like two planters when we were in Ramona from that 99 cent store. This one was $3.99. You already know it matches the vibe of the living room. And then this one was $2.99 and it's like heavy duty ceramic. It's like a kind of also like a turquoisey color. So that is like such a good deal for planters. These are for our DD Steve. <laughs> and then my mom also got me this book. She has like a, bo a book box um, and somebody put it in there. 100 Perfect Pairings. It's like what foods go good with wine, which is cool. So have that. What are you doing? Oh, ah, be careful, bunny, bunny, bunny. Don't break, bunny. My, don't break my glasses. Yeah, wait, bunny is- The dog? <laughs> Bunny's like so. I don't Bunny, watch out! <laughs> don't do it. No, no, why are you doing it like that? What do you, mean? you gotta hold it, bro. If that shit pops, it's gonna. Oh! oh! Yeah, Bunny just had a whole panic attack. <laughs> she also be yelling at me the entire time. Bunny! Bunny! You're slightly over dramatic. Yeah, it is. It is. And it's insane. not just me. It's just me. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh my god, my outfit. <laughs> hey, yeah. We don't have um, a mimosa glasses here, which is something that we need to change in the near future. But for now, we're going to use these giant um, wine glasses and a shot glass to measure out orange juice. <laughs> the drop. I feel like John probably wants the most orange juice out of all of us, huh? Okay, now shake it. That champagne is sweet. Mm -hmm. It's breakfast. Breakfasty. I know, but there's like really dry champagne. No, they're not all like happy to do that. Was happy to do. Mm. That was like. Mm. Have you ever had it? Mm -hmm. it's the one Aunt Patty brought. That in their like Easter clothes. How funny is that? What kids? Kids down the hill, they're like in a button up and khakis. It's like classic. Classic look, Aww. classic Easter look. I will show a better, actually I have time. No one else is sitting down. <laughs> show my fit. My suit or my camera in my suitcase. So I'm on my phone now, but here's my dress. I was just sitting, so I had to unwrinkle her. But this is the dress. If you watched my video where I went to Savers, look at the fire in the back. Where I went to, um, Savers, I thrifted this. It was really, really cheap. And I literally said, this is an Easter fit. 
and here we are utilizing it for Easter. I wish I was a little bit tanner. <laughs> beat it up, beat it up, beat it up. How does he even, he fucking like throws his ass into it. He was literally just wiggling like <laughs> side to side. <laughs> yeah. Press. Literally fuck. With the piggy up. Cheers. Reese's bone. Hold on. <laughs> Anyway, you're gonna go ahead and cut half of that out. Effectively, like, cried. You're not eating that, right? Sharpener, they'll be like, <laughs> like every time you sharpen it. Okay, little passport. Oh, did it even show up? Oh, it's a fountain. The stamp is a fountain. Oh, wow. It's a little Oh, hey, you want to take a selfie? <laughs> It's so beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. Code is a bitch low key, but pretty. Story time. I was like, Mom, hop on my back for a photo. She hopped on my back and I did that little like half hop to adjust her. Mm. And yeah, oh, I'm that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. The cheeks came out. <laughs> she fell in the dirt. <laughs> It was a mess. I put the skirt mama in the dirt. Oh no! Oh no! I put the skirt mama in the dirt. That was wild off the top too. Off the dome. Off the dome. Oh no, Steve. And the gang, gang's all here. Yeah. I like the pink ones. Look at that picture. Bro, like a, you know, you gotta kind of like it's almost like it's like a chief. It's wind. like a yeah, but when there's no wind, the you can. Oh, there's not that much left of this king home, dude. I barely smoked any of OG. This OG is the shit that Ahmad grows. Um, she's following all the rules, so we're safe. We're doing it legally. But, um, so we called it, oh wait, I probably shouldn't say that. I just doxed the shit out of us. <laughs> Scratch all that, Lorraine, I cut that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but I that was the whole point of the name. Oh, you trying to mix? I feel like those tea bags, these ones are stronger than these ones. Like if you wanted to mix two of these, you could, but these tea bags are pretty strong. Like here, it's gonna the flavor is gonna be crazy. Dude, what the fuck? Tea exporter since 1890. Yeah, they're O they're OGs. 1890. <laughs> I'm like, was that the Silk Road era? <laughs> the tea trade. That's what I immediately thought. <laughs> oh my god, it's such a beautiful evening. Look at that sun. Mm. Dude, okay, so we <laughs> before we left for the flower fields, there were these kids playing um this game and like fast forward to after the flower fields we come back it's been like three hours because flower fields low key far from us and they're still playing the game like the exact same people i'm like what is going on <laughs> look at this cute ring john got me barely fits any of my chubby fingers but <laughs> i think it looks cute <laughs> it fits my pinky but i have it right here right now i just landed in vegas i'm here Vegas, I am inside of you. <laughs> I'm so tired. Literally, our flight was delayed like an hour. And so it's like almost 11. And I'm just like, I have to wait for a bag too because I ended up bringing two suitcases. So I'm gonna look at that. I 